What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm going to be on the road. I've got to go to my mother's house and do some work and another job. I got to do some work and stuff with uh, my son, Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy. We got to take care of business and pay some bills. So, I'm getting ready to get out of here and I'm uploading my morning video right now as we speak. And it's funny because I'm talking about the whole Dak Prescott contract and things with Trevor Lawrence getting 55 million. I'm sorry, bro. 50. If you honestly tell me that he's getting 55 million, Dak Prescott's got to be 60. There's, there's no doubt because Jordan Love's going to be more than Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Tua's going to be more than Trevor Lawrence. So this whole thing is just going up and up and up. And we're at this deja vu moment because I said yesterday, you know, expect five years, $60 million for Dak Prescott. And somebody on Twitter, you know, just said, stop talking out your ass because Jerry has already said they're not going to do a deal or get this thing done. And Dak Prescott, you know, because you don't know anything. You're an idiot. Okay, that's fine. I'm an idiot. But it's so funny because this is really deja vu, guys. This is deja vu. And it's amazing how people forget because this, I, I want to play this clip from NFL Total Access, okay, from four years ago. This was the end of Dak Prescott's rookie year. Let's listen in on this because this is pretty good. Story of the Cowboys contract negotiations telling us last week that the team had put out contract offers to Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and Amari Cooper that they described as generous that would put, put all three of them in the top five of their position in terms of pay. It sounds like at least one of them has decided that the offer is not enough. Jane Slater, what's the story? Hey, guys. Well, you know, we've been talking about this contract for a while mm -hmm. and nothing has happened just yet. Well, I've been told today by a source in forums that Dak Prescott turned down a $30 million offer because he wants to set the number at $40 million. Now, that's <laughs> what he's asking. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what these two sides agree on. I think a lot of us can be smart enough to realize that that's the starting point. The Cowboys have talked mm -hmm. about They've already put one on the table you know, to put him in, in terms of the top dollars. five highest paid at his position. I think if they're able to get to the table, this thing is closer to 34, 35. That's going to be the number that they end up at. But right now, this gives you a sense of how far apart the two sides are as it pertains to the number that Dak Prescott and his team are looking for. Jane Slater on the phone with the latest. Interesting. That's a pretty high number. This is four years ago. About. Well, now they ended up doing the franchise tag. Negotiating. How high, you ask? <laughs> I'm glad you asked because if he would get to the $40 million mark, that would make him not only the highest paid quarterback, make him the highest paid football player mm. in world history. Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers just signed recent contracts. Ben Roethlisberger did a deal as well. Mm -hmm. They're at 33, 34, and 35 mm. million per year. Now, when you talk about average annual mm. salary, there is some funny money that could get involved there, but this one is ripe. What you got about 40, dog? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Forty million, or if, as Jane's suspecting, he he's saying forty to get to thirty-five. Right. Is Dak Prescott worth thirty-five million? That's Russell Wilson, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers' money. Would you pay him that? You know what you just said. All three of those quarterbacks. What, what, what they have? A championship ring. Super Bowl. Championship ring, and most mm -hmm. of them have been to multiple Super Bowls. So I, I just want to know. The breakdown of the contract, the fine print. I want to know who's guiding him too, because I feel like if thirty million a year is a legit thirty million a year, he should sign that contract today, because I feel like that's the range he's in. But to put him up there with Russell Wilson and Ben Roethlisberger, I, I just can't see it. Those guys have, have been multiple Super Bowls in one rings. What about the next man up, though? Yeah, that, I got a little back. point it's here too. It's all about timing with these contracts. It's not about who earned it, who deserved it. Look, sure. I, I think every player get as much as you can. And then some. But this feels a lot like when Scott Hansen wanted to get his ears pierced, right? And he said, look, I know my mom's going to freak out, so I can't get my ear pierced. I'm going to tell her I want a tattoo, and she'll give in to the ear piercing. That's what, what Dak is doing. And I think okay. when, you, when you look at Dak and when you look at the fact that, look, his, his contract is up, he is the next man up, the Dallas Cowboys, they're not going to have a choice. They're going to have to make him one of the highest-paid quarterbacks. Now, the question is, once you become the highest-paid quarterback, can you carry this team? We're talking about a quarterback 
that has yet to throw for over 4,000 yards in a season. Now, <laughs> part of that is because Zeke Elliott has been the <laughs> offense. But if you're paying Dak close to $40 million or 35, whatever that number is, can you still keep Zeke? Because that's the question. And I think if Dak becomes that guy, now all of a sudden, you think there's pressure now to wear the star on your helmet? And to be the quarterback for the Cowboys, wait till you get that contract. Yeah. Well, which, which ear did you pierce? It, it, neither. <laughs> he took it out. Know, he realized like, it didn't look good yeah. on the quad, this quad box. A, this is a mom. This is still a clean canvas. You can you can rest assured. <laughs> okay. Of that. So mind you, uh, l- let me point out something here because they said, "Well, these guys have a ring." But let me ask you, because when you said Aaron Rodgers, when you said Russell Wilson, when you said uh, Ben Roethlisberger, when you said Matty Ice, with those guys that were being paid, what they were being paid, did they go to a Super Bowl again since that time when they were paid that, that money? Aaron Rodgers had, and Aaron Rodgers went from 35 to 50 and fleeced the Green Bay Packers. And you can look at it right now where he went and played one series with the Jets last year. And he's not even at their mini camp right now. Um, Ben Roethlisberger at his price and stuff was on the tail end of his career. I don't think he sniffed the playoffs anymore from there. And Russell Wilson, well, he has been traded and literally has gone downhill. So to say that, well, they've been to a Super Bowl, that applies that they're going to take the team to one again. And I dare say, in the time that Dak Prescott got his contract, it was franchise tag last year, of that year, and he ended up getting his contract, his $40 million the next year, he played better than all of those guys, with the exception of maybe Aaron Rodgers. Because Aaron Rodgers had um, two MVPs. But it didn't do him anything because even as the number one seed, they got beat by San Francisco and their offense scored 10 points at home. So, you know, for those out there that just tell me I'm an idiot and that Dak Prescott ain't going to get paid, we've heard that before. We heard Colin Cowherd, let him walk. He's too expensive. You know, let trade for Derek Carr. Andy Dalton is as good as Dak Prescott. There's no let down. Yeah. And guys that aren't, aren't very good, aren't great, aren't exceptional, aren't having success in the playoffs, are getting paid. And if I'm Dak Prescott, the only guy who's ever in the history of football as a quarterback at the peak of his game, having the opportunity to go anywhere he wants without having to worry about being franchise tag, having freedom, why would I settle for a cheap deal? Unless the Cowboys say, hey, we're going to go out and we're going to bring you some players. Clays Campbell signed yesterday with the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> just, just so you know. Just so you know. That was one of those ones that I, I really would have liked to have seen many, many years ago on this team. All righty, good people. If it's the end of Dak Prescott being in Dallas, so be it. He going to be okay. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I got to hit the road. Michael's waiting to get to work, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.